Hello everyone. Today I want to try this drum JJRC H68. Uh, the reason why I want to try this drum because many many people promote that the drum can fly up to 20 minutes. But the big problem with this drum is that its camera is really uh, bad. In the test, they always lag. I just think that we can improve this drum's quality by uh, placing the GoPro on it. So I prepare Dock Tap and GoPro Hero 7 and this one JJRC H68 drum. And we would like to use a Dock Tap to let the GoPro attach on the drum so that we can shot a better quality video. Before we doing this test, we charged our batteries. I already charged this uh, battery for one hour to make sure that it is 100 power. I will place the landing gear under the drone because I have to make sure that my GoPro is fine. And I already taxed this kind of accessories. The watts is under 20 grams. So I think this is not impact performance really much. Now I will place the GoPro under the drone and we are going to done our test. So now we put in the GoPro under the drone and that we will use this remote to activate the drone. I need to get off my room and taxi it outside. Let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna tax the JJRC H68 with GoPro attaching under it and we have to take whatever it can lift the GoPro or not we turn off the bottom and also turn off the rem remote when you saw the light is not shining it's already prepared let's come to our very nervous part push the hoover bottom and let's try it See that the only they can live is about 10 centimeter from the ground. We try many times. Despite use 100% charge battery, the drone cannot lift the GoPro up. So we can prove that the JJRC is not able to lift the GoPro up. That's back to our place. Now we're back to our place. After the test, we can prove that DH65 cannot carry the. GoPro. Thanks for watching today's video and if you like the video please like and share and if you want to see more tests about the drone with GoPro you can no you can do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it anymore.